Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Elsa. Welcome to Meaningful Travel. Now, what you're about to see is a shorter chapter of a longer form video. So if you like what you see, be sure and check out the longer form video that you can find on our main page. Enjoy and give us a thumbs up. So next we went to El Corazon and we met Dave Dieter there. And Scott and Dave um, have a shared history in the music scene of Seattle. Dave and I go way back. What can I say? He's good people. Check, check, check. One, two. Yep. Blah, 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 cool. blah, 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 right. blah. Me, me, me. Enough about me. More about me. More, more Dave. More about me. <laughs> more about me. Well, first off, it's great to see you. It's good to see you. We had, I think, you know, when I tell people about the experience that, you know, I, I kind of related to being in San Francisco in the late 60s. What was it like for you? Like, what was the scene like back in the day? The scene for me, I mean, I'm from Seattle and, you know, multi-generational native. So it always just felt like kind of like your basement. What felt weird was when it got big and it feels weird looking back when you go I mean sometimes I'll run into one of those people and you'd be like Can you believe that like we all grew up within two square miles of each other and that, that accounts for like a hundred million records sold? How is that possible at the time? What do you know? You're 20 25 you, you don't know anything. You're just like going to the show Drinking some beer just getting on stage yeah. making some noise the venues have come and gone this one's still here this one was known for the scrambled eggs after the show at midnight. It was always a great thing. After the show, there'd be like huge baking trays of eggs and hash browns and stuff if you stuck around long enough. So that was a great thing. And I don't know, you know, I'm not sure how much the camera's picking up. It's a pretty small room. And as we were talking about when I came in, you know, I just from some amazing shows here, like seeing Alice in Chains here with Mookie Blaylock slash Pearl Jam, but Alice in Chains just, they, they melted my face. So if I were gonna go to places, I would come here to just whatever punk rock show is on. Here, pretty much now, as the off-ramp, it was sort of all-encompassing and, and El Corazon's bread and butter now is definitely like full-on rock music. Um, so I would come here, I would go to Numo's because it's still basically the same. They've reconfigured the room, but it's still the same vibe. All of these places are different than they were, but they're still, there's a little bit of the flavor there. Uh, I gotta go to Easy Street Records, which is really the last of the great independent record stores. You go in there and just ask for Matt Vaughn, the owner, by name. Tell him I sent, tell him, tell him I sent, sent you. Dave Dieterer said, talk to Matt Vaughn. And at, at Easy Street, you can get nice greasy spoon breakfast. They got drinks, they got huge, it's pretty much all vinyl now. Perfect. Yeah. All right, right, we'll give you a COVID uh, bump there. It's great to see you. Good to see you. A uh, memory that I will always cherish is when, and we noticed that there was a stage diving sign off to the off to the side, and that seemed to ignite an idea. And before we knew it, then Dave was up on the stage, uh, diving off of it. I know there's a camera ham inside this man's body, and maybe a cured ham as well. But you throw Dave in the mix, and suddenly we're bound to do something that could only be described as dorky. Do they use the term dorky anymore? Just Google on your smart thing. We hope you like what you saw. Just a reminder, this is a shorter chapter of a longer form video. And that longer form video can be found on our main page. And speaking of videos, right about now, you should be seeing some other videos that you can check out to deeper dive into more meaningful travel.